Boo. Ray for Hollywood. Mother of mercy, is this the end of Rico? Oh, hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. It stars Zoe Coletti, Michael Garza, Gabriel Rush, Austin Zajor, Austin Abrams, and more. Um, it is, uh, of course, from director Guillermo del Toro, and he has uh, taken it from a book of the same name uh, about scary stories. Now, uh, in this particular iteration of the film, um, a young girl named Stella, played by Zoe Coletti, um, is going out on Halloween with her friends um, August, better known as Augie, played by Gabriel Rush, and Chuck, played by Austin Zajur. Uh, they wind up getting on the wrong side of the town bully, Tommy Milner, played by Austin Abrams, and they go on the run and hide out in a uh, drive-in movie theater and get in the car of a young man named Ramon Morales, played by Michael Garza. Um, Stella has some issues because her mom left her and her dad, uh, uh, Dean Norris, um, some uh, played by Dean no Norris, some years earlier, and he uh, and she is 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 very broken by that. Even though, um, and she blames herself for it. Even though there's no reason for her to do that. Uh, she asks Ramon if uh, she if he wants to go see a, a haunted house, and they go to this old uh, home that uh, was uh, where a, a very rich family once lived back in the um, 19th century. They ran the paper mill in the plant or in the city, which is uh, essentially how the city grew up around. Uh, the paper plant, and uh, they had a daughter that no one ever saw uh, because she was somehow different. She was she had a medical condition, and they hit her as often rich families would do back in the day in a hidden room in their home. Um, she would tell stories to children who would come up to the to the home uh, through the wall. And even though they never saw her, she would tell them stories. Uh, and she was blamed for the deaths of several children who died suddenly after hearing one of her stories. Uh, they find her book of stories and uh, flip through it. And Stella notices that one of the stories is fresh. It's, it's new. It's um, uh, that she can smear the ink with her thumb. And on Halloween night, um, that's when Tommy Milner disappears. Um, and uh, as time goes on, more and more stories start appearing in the book. You can actually see them being written. And uh, some of her friends also begin to disappear. Uh, the, they, it's, she's essentially trying to figure out uh, how to stop this from happening again. It's kind of a, uh, a supernatural Nancy Drew kind of thing. And it's very good. Um, the, the actors are all very uh, appealing young people uh, who... Uh, everybody in the film is a type. You have the uh, stuck-up girl, you have the bully athletes, you have the nerds, uh, and you have the outsider. That's Ramon. Um, and it, it all works really, really well. Uh, and there's even some decent scares in the movie. Thank you, Guillermo, for creating a horror film, even though it's mild horror, it's still a horror film, uh, that, that it is actually scary. Those are so few and far between. It, it, it pains me when I see another in a, uh, a series come out. You know, there are multiple episodes of various horror movies and they're just not scary they're they start to get kind of dull after a while but uh, scary stories to tell in the dark uh, actually manages to be frightening in some instances um, and tense through the whole film once once the uh, 
supernatural stuff starts to kick off, um, it's 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 really it, it it is really effective at building tension, and even manages to be very scary at times. Um, and I enjoyed it a lot. I think you will too if you enjoy horror movies that maybe don't have quite the biting edge. There's also some satire, some social commentary in here, if you will. Um, it's set in 1968, and uh, it's, 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 an, it's a terrific movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it five stars. Go to StanTheMovieMan.com to see my complete review. You can follow me on Twitter, at MovieManStan, and you can send emails to me, StanTheMovieMan123 at gmail.com. Till next time. Later.